It misses! Oh, Two fingers above your eyebrow, and that's the right spot, bro. Dude, I'm so nervous. You'll be fine. That's not the right tone. Dude, he flatlined! <laughs> this is a little claustrophobic. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Dope or Nope. Today we have a bit of a banger on our hands. Um... <laughs> Are you okay? I'm eating carrots. <laughs> <laughs> One video we've been wanting to do. Who's we? A dope or no, but Matt, you are a part of dope or no. We want to do a video based around pretty much like all things ADHD. Yeah. So come get your diagnosis. <laughs> no. <laughs> all you losers down in the comments below. Because <laughs> there's so many people that are like, oh yeah, Matt's just talking about ADHD. He doesn't even have it. No, uh huh, diagnosed. Loser. I was diagnosed, yeah. but I think they were just trying to sell me drugs. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, I told them I didn't want drugs. <laughs> and they're like, that doesn't change it. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at that first product. I wanted to do this one. <gasps> that looks really looks stupid worse. and cool. Increase your productivity by boosting your brain's concentration. I thought this looked super strange. See, neurodiversity customer service is unriled. Neurosity. I just read this wrong. Dyslexic. Did you know dyslexia is commonly paired with ADHD? As just you witnessed. <laughs> uh, one example is what just happened. <laughs> Does this help you while you're wearing it? Or is this kind of like a brain training thing? Uh, you see, it shoots laser beam frequencies in, <laughs> up into your melon. And once your dome is fully in encompassed with these laser beam frequencies, um, <laughs> your capacity to think is much greater. Why? Well, these laser beam frequencies <laughs> actually <laughs> act as bridges for your neurons to cross into other neural pathways. <laughs> he literally said why in the middle of his own statement. He asked himself a question and then answered it. What's the tech behind this? It just blows gently yeah. under your ears. <laughs> Okay, so I'm I'm interested. I, you got me. I'm gonna get the crown. The crown has arrived. Looks like a like a like a sea creature. So I put it like this, and then I kind of like yeah, just kind of put it in there. Bro, you look like Mr. Tumnus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get in my closet? <laughs> you want to see my lamppost? <laughs> So the idea here now is that this is gonna help me focus, yeah? So there's a button here that says shift into focus, all right? So shift into focus using music designed to stimulate your productivity brainwaves. Music, time travel version two. Blacks out until like 2040. Feel? Goes into a coma. Um, We're like, it's working. <laughs> okay, close your eyes during the bass line and while the music is playing. Just close your eyes. Think about Mr. Tumnus. Am I supposed to close my eyes? No, you can open your eyes now, so. Cool, so what Lauren said, Matt can open his eyes, he can do normal things, and it's pretty much stimulating his mind. I'm not entirely sure what is happening. It's very unpleasant. It's gonna track every time that you got a distraction and like put the number for you. How does it know what I'm supposed to be focusing on? For the full 18 seconds, I focus entirely on Mr. Tumnus. I'm not joking. So it's just gonna be one long distraction. <laughs> it's just gonna be one long you distraction. You forgot about Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> well, isn't one long distraction just you focusing? <laughs> Right, so isn't the brainwaves just gonna be... I've been critically struck! Maybe try to focus on Mr. Tumnus a little bit. And see okay, right now, I'll, I'll, for like the next 30 seconds, I'll focus on Mr. Tumnus. It's so hard not to try and make him laugh. Dude, what kind of name is Mr. Tumnus? It sounds like something. It sounds like Num Nuts. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> hey, Mr. Num Nuts. <laughs> is that like a bad thing to say? It's yeah, it's terrible to people who can't feel <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, how focused do you feel? Good. I would say still... Neutral. Congrats, you are feeling more focused. <laughs> <laughs> what a flawless idea for a product. Yeah, so around that four minute mark, my focus started improving when I started thinking about Mr. Tumnus. So over here, the baseline, I started thinking about Mr. Tumnus, and then over here, I started thinking about Mr. Tumnus again. Well, I wonder what happened where you got close to being back to zero in that moment. You guys started mentioning Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, interesting. Yeah. So it's gonna learn what music I respond to. So maybe I'll try this over the course of, you know, whenever I feel like it. One time they slip in like Photograph by Nickelback and they just <laughs> score really high, they're like, oh. In terms of this product, I would say it would require a lot more testing, but it seems to be made really well. The app seems to work really well, but I'm gonna need to test it for a much more extended period of time to see if it actually has any sort of real impact.
I think it's a dope. I would say it's a preliminary dope. Singer bot. This is exactly what I was looking for because like I knew we would go from like a Matt product where it's like Matt's like really like invested in the tech and then Woods is like finger bot. <laughs> and I love, I want that. Oh, I have that at home. I use this to actually automate my desk up and down by itself. Really? What does I love it. do? It presses buttons for you remotely. It literally presses a switch for you. <laughs> Sick. Where did you find this one? You can put it on your garage door opener. It's the scariest thing about it though. One time I was driving home from from California, and I hit my garage door opener and got really worried. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh no, dude, is it open? Like, and I was like, oh yeah, it's not gonna reach. <laughs> Let's get it. I'm excited about this. What are a few different things you think so you we could use this on? You could you can put it on the outside and the inside of an elevator, and you can open the elevator when <laughs> someone's walking to the elevator, and then you could have the one inside press the close button. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't make it to the elevator in time. <laughs> You wouldn't make this a prank product. Well, why not real uses? <laughs> What's this no, guy thinking hold on, of? Hold on, let's keep, let's farm. farm this. Give me another one. So, okay, so you could put it at the end of a long domino trail. So yeah, like you built your dominoes like a mile long, but you don't want to walk all the way back. <laughs> yeah. Boom. You want to be there for the end. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited because when I when I asked Woods to do this, this is exactly what I wanted. It's so Woods, but it's so creative. I would have never thought of that. Oh, here's a prank. <laughs> um, you could put it you could put it behind someone's book on a bookshelf, <laughs> and so when they're home alone, you can just press the thing and it'll go, and a book will fall out. <laughs> and it could be a specific book. Bro, this prank's terrible. Let's get it. Add no, the cart. We, we... Woods pushes my button so easily. I'm now it's gonna help. So look at this, guys. This gives like Rick and Morty vibes, like, what is my purpose? You pass the butter. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I'll hold it. Oh. <laughs> Bro, it actually pushes pretty hard. Maybe it pushes it. hard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Oh! I'm not saying we should, but we should. Woods is so excited. I'm so hyped for this. Awesome. My brain is exploding. Okay, right so now. Woods, you need to go actually find a use for this. A real world use at your house. Me and this thing are gonna play a song. It's just gonna get the bass. We should have got like three more. <laughs> I can't wait to see what he does. <laughs> to read, what to read. So many good options. Thanks. Okay, that was like way too much setup for that, that stupid bit. <laughs> I said for Woods to find something that really just stuck out and gave him that dopamine novelty hit. It's called perpetual marble motion. Is this what's doing it for you? Yeah, dude. Oh, I've seen that. Oh, there's a switch on it, dude. Yeah, it's, it's not perpetual motion. Perpetual motion doesn't exist, bro. That's not true. Think of us going through space. Perpetually. In motion. This is tough. <laughs> <laughs> no, get off of that. Okay, that's the one I think. Yeah, I want this. This is literally the same thing you just looked at. So there's no switch or... Bro, these can't work without electronics in them. Dude, get it. Dude, yes, man. You don't think like the, the marble sound would annoy you after a while? More than likely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Add to cart. Okay, so this is the perpetual marble machine. So that's where you put the big ball in. It pops out right in that little holocus. Shoots it back. Meow. Holocus? Oh, no. <laughs> It's so loud. It misses. Oh! Do it. Oh, it's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it again. Come on, just two in a row. Oh, oh, three in a row. <laughs> it actually irritates me that it misses. Bro, you need a perfectly flat surface. Oh, speaking of, maybe you should put it on your butt. Dude, have you seen my butt? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's not working super well, but it still is like really keeping my focus like really, really on it. I'm like really liking it. This is the reality of without it being on. 
I'm gonna go ahead and say no. It's also plastic and cheapy metal. Oh, nice, a little bounce shot. <laughs> I thought it was gonna go up your shorts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say nope. Nope, next product. I really like all these like biohacking devices that you found because that's really like the next wave of tech in my personal opinion. Hacking our own bodies. Actually, this is a biohacking device right here. Let's talk about this one. I'm gonna get this one. Get it, yeah. I want another one of these, they're so incredible. Okay, I cannot stress enough how much this works. It's wild. It literally takes away Amanda's nausea. Whoa. It takes away headaches. Basically, it's touch therapy. Apollo wearable helps your body recover from stress so you can relax, focus, and sleep better and feel better. I literally was getting altitude sickness. Put this on and it went away. So basically, it helps you take you out of fight or flight mode by simulating touch like this. Don't you feel a little bit more loved and a little bit more relaxed? What about now? <laughs> yeah, it depends on where you're touching me, honestly. The wrong place, right time. Literally cannot praise this enough. Hey guys, if you want to sponsor us, hit us up. Yeah, I like the stealth. I had a cart. The next product Boom. I've been wearing. <laughs> It's called the Apollo Nero. You know, I've already talked about this. No, you guys thought up until now that I was under house arrest. Well, yes. that's on the other ankle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this one is uh, the Apollo Nero. So it's this small little device. It literally just vibrates. That's all it does. You see this? Oh, uh, it's an app. Energy, wake up, social and open, clear and focus, rebuild. So it basically vibrates at different frequencies. The one that I usually use is rebuild and recover. Accelerates your body's recovery after a workout, after mental or physical stress, when feeling run down or sick, or after long flights or travel. Amanda likes to use, I think, the clear and focus because it helps relieve headaches and mild nausea, which she suffers from. This is a really, really bad idea, but here's what we're gonna do. Put this on your wrist, Tanner. And oh, I'm gonna please, use, I never tried this. And I'm gonna use energy and wake up. <laughs> Gives you a boost of energy when you're feeling tired or sluggish. Okay, you ready, Tanner? Yeah. We're gonna go for 15 minutes. This is one of the products I've been the most interested in that Matt has brought to the table because I've seen him use it. I've seen it actually work and it kind of tripped my mind up. Were you there when Amanda first used it? You told me about it, okay. I didn't see it. She started sobbing. So I'm kind of curious to really try this on. It's comfy, I will say that. It's actually very comfy. I mean, if your energy's already up, you might actually start to feel anxiety. I don't really get anxiety in social settings. I get anxiety prior to social settings. Literally, anytime we go to a drive-thru and I make a joke, this guy's like, We've been to so? several parties together, you get social anxiety. <laughs> it's okay, everybody gets social anxiety. Well, who have you seen throw back in the club more than anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> you, because you have anxiety. No, it's counterphobic, bro. Maybe, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I feel like I get in my own head before, but then when I'm in the moment, I'm like, it's not bad. Wow, it's going so fast now. That's crazy. You feel a little nervous. Yeah, I guess I'm like a little like, it's happening right now, you know? Who's touching me so much? Yeah. Should we like let it kick in for 15 minutes and then come back to it? Matt's gonna believe this is dope. He uses it every single day. I'll give you my opinion somewhere after the next product or two. I have a product. Fit earbuds. What are these doing for you? What they use is they use this plastic, molds into your ear, and then you harden it with a UV light, which is inside the earbud. So you have a perfect form of your ear. Oh, that's huge. She got huge ear holes. I mean, I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> That yeah, does look so kind of dope. It hardens in there. Yeah, because the rubber they use, it it's like moldable, and then it hardens yeah. upon UV light. UV light. You can't hear anything. All you hear is the sound. Oh, I see what you're saying. All right, let's add to cart. Let's mold some things to our ears. Heck yeah, dude. So we got these uh, ultimate ears right here. Let's get it started. Ear tips are light sensitive. Set it properly after opening. So I have to like... That's so satisfying. That is very satisfying. Yeah, you could rip me open like that. Oh, wow, they must be super light sensitive. Let's turn off the lights. <laughs> yeah, should we turn off the lights? Like that, I'm trying not to touch it. I'm excited, a little nervous, a little nervous for something to uh, harden in my ear. <laughs> mm, fair thing to be nervous about yeah. though. Okay, it looks like they're connected. Mm. Now let's get to the fun part, it says. Pop both earbuds into your ears, gently adjust them until they feel super comfortable and secure. You will mold both sides at the same time. All right, Woods. You're shaking a lot. Yeah, they're huh? right. Really? <laughs> I can't really hear much. <laughs> That's what I feel like all the time. Are they comfortable? Now we can yeah. turn the lights too. Next, get ready. We'll do a quick sound test to ensure a sound isolating fit before we mold. Okay, let's do this. How's the bass? A little louder. There it is. During the molding process, the tips will feel warm as they mold to your ears. Huh? It's gonna be warm. <laughs> Three, two. One. Oh, look. Ah! No. <laughs> He's all like lit up, dude. He's listening to our Spellbound theme song. It's warm. 
And they're still playing the music. <laughs> oh, that's why he can't hear. I didn't realize he was hearing music. <laughs> it was just off. And I was like, what? It can't be that much. What song are they playing? It's like, ah, ah, ka, tiki, tika. Uh-uh, tika tika, tiki tiki Wow. Wow. Congratulations, your earbuds are custom molded to your ears. How do they feel? this Oh, he did thumbs up. Share the love, take a selfie. The frightened look in his eyes when he took I don't know where that selfie went, but it went somewhere. The CEO. Yes. I like them, they're pretty clear. I can like hardly hear anything. Now take them out. They should be really hard now. Yeah, it's hard. It wasn't hard before? I actually didn't film before. <laughs> we should make you film with those in at all times because you, you project way more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might be a good idea. Put earplugs in and he's like, yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. You're doing great, Woods. <laughs> Bro, 10 products to make Woods talk louder. <laughs> this is definitely a dope. Do you feel like that ADHD feeded ADHD? <laughs> do you feel like you have ADHDs? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this thing made me way more tired. I'm gonna throw in my review for this right now. Uh, works, gave me a little anxiety at first, made me sleepy after. No. Keep it on. I'm gonna set it to social and open. Do you feel it? Mm hmm Do you feel it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you feel the vibes? Oh. Next product. Hear me out, lifted. You ever seen this? Doesn't it freeze your forehead? Train your brain. It's supposed to, I'm, I don't know how this is gonna work, but transcranial oh, direct current simulation. It's just too stupid looking. Like the one you found earlier looks dope. Does this do the same thing? They're all designed to do the same thing. This makes it so that focus is not a problem. If you understand anything about ADHD, um, you understand, um, my memory dumped, so that's ADHD too. I totally forgot what I was saying. Usually we cut this stuff out. <laughs> if you understand anything about ADHD. Yes, you understand how ADHD works. I still don't know where I was going with that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, I haven't seen a single thing you yes. said yet, but... The problem with these types of devices uh -huh. is that you, you can't actually socially wear these. You know what I mean? Like, the Apollo, I can. Nobody is, is the wiser. But I feel like you're assuming that they can't. Look, if you look closely, they're <laughs> gaming together. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get it and see if it works. You know what they said? Who's they? Answer that first. Everybody. <laughs> oh. That snoring thing that you put around your chin looked like a chin strap and you look stupid, Tanner, but did it work? We don't know. No, no. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna fix this time. So we're gonna change yeah. it up on this one. It looks dumb, but let's give it a shot. Yeah. Add to cart. Tana, you, you found this product, right? Yeah. Oh, gosh. This is just a little scary. What a preface. <laughs> I, I tested everything except this one. Guys, this is lifted. This is what lifted looks like. What you do is you take this Naruto band. I'm not gonna turn it on. Bro, you can test it on your arm too if you want. Yeah, I was gonna do that first. Yeah, I'm not gonna go straight to electrocuting myself. I haven't even had my last meal yet, so. You slap it on here. Suction cups my forehead, do you see a dot? Wait, what are these for? So these are the foam pads that you put inside of the holes, you wet them, and then you put it to your forehead. So you know how like in the green mile in the electric chair, they put foam pads that are wet? Yeah, and they forgot to wet him. And then they, yeah, essentially same thing. Someone really thought like, yo, let's take the electric chair and let's make it healthy. And I don't know how I feel about that. What about just like... <laughs> Should Tanner be doing both of these things? Yeah, this is just touch therapy. This thing, they recommend that you use it for like six hours a day. This thing, they recommend using it for the last six hours. Uh, of your life. <laughs> you know what else will reduce ADHD to zero? <laughs> Death. <laughs> Are you nervous about this product? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna fully do this, but we're gonna try it on my arm to start. And if I feel safe, okay, fine. douse it in water and then stick it in there. I'm gonna stick it on my arm. Dude, I hate it already. Bro, it's not meant for your friggin' arm. Put it on the underside of your arm, bro. Yeah, put it in the more vulnerable side of your arm. <laughs> it says don't just rip it off or it'll shock you. Turn it off if you're gonna take it off. Just Woods, you know what to do. I can't really tell. What do I feel? Put it on your forehead then, big oh, shot. This would be such a terrible way to go out. It's on a Dope or Nope episode. No. Two fingers above your eyebrow and that's the right spot, bro. Dude, I'm so nervous. You'll be fine. <sighs> I hate it here. Do I have to press again? No, it's working. What are you feeling, Tanner? I don't know. I don't know how to put it. It's like... It feels like your forehead's kind of itchy almost a little. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just like... You look upset. It's just like... I don't know how to put this product. It's like, why? You know what I'm saying? Why? Bro, I think this is chilling you out. This is kind of doing good too. <laughs> I'm honestly, I feel like I'm hooked up to like a, a <laughs> nurse's bed or something like this. I don't really think I've seen Tanner so like uneasy about anything. And like, we've almost been in fights together. Like, <laughs> Yeah. 
He's like... <laughs> Usually there's a comment there. This is such a waste of money. Like there's no other way to put it. Meditation is probably 10 times more effective at minimum. Just like turn upside down on the couch, you know? Let the blood flow to your head. <laughs> That's such a smart idea, well, but so. also so dumb. That's not the right tone. Dude, he flatlined. <laughs> Least favorite dope or no product we've ever bought. He got so upset, bro. Somebody was tinkering under the hood. It's like, I don't know what they're pushing in there. I'm not sure there's much to push, but hey. There's a lot of room for pushing, though. <laughs> it's empty forehead. So nope, then, I'm assuming. That's a nope. What? <laughs> Next product. If you're gonna do anything after this besides, you know, go sleep and get better, what would it be? Oh, were you talking to me right then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally zoned out. No, it's because he has a very soothing voice. Like he like cast a spell on me yeah, for a second. Like what, what are you what are you hankering for right now? Like what do you want sleep. to do besides that? Oh, Ooh, things man. like sleep. <laughs> this might help with that. <laughs> It's just tape. This can be helpful for ADHD. We both experienced when we were hyper fixated, we can't stop from talking about something. <laughs> It'll shut you up and make you go to sleep. Is that what you're <laughs> yeah. It says it promotes nose breathing during sleep. It says it's comfortable and easy to apply. Oh, it's not supposed to stop you from talking. I think we'd have to get them now. <laughs> Add to cart, yeah. Mouth tape. This is what I've been waiting for, baby. And you're going to sleep with this. Yeah, sure. Well, with your beard, you're going to have to shave a little uh, gap. I need to, anyways. Whenever it gets too long, Haley doesn't like kissing me anymore because she's kissing my hair, not my lips. Look how Many there are. I don't so see how this would work at all. I can totally still breathe. Bro, if I was sleeping next to you at night and I turned over and saw that. Bro, if I was sleeping next to Matt in general at night. Ow! I'd be surprised if you were sleeping next to me too. It wouldn't matter what Matt was wearing. I would be. <laughs> that sounded weird with no context. I didn't matter a little. <laughs> it did. But Woods is Woods brought in the context of if I woke up next to Matt and he was wearing that. And but if I was wearing like a small little red piece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Matt was wearing anything when he was sleeping next to me, I would be really weirded out. So Normally. if I'm wearing nothing, then not weirded exactly. out? Exactly. <laughs> See, you're supposed to, it's supposed to shut your mouth. My lips, my lips were too wet. My whips, <laughs> my whips were wet. Okay, so what about going, let's go sideways. Is that better? No, I can still open my mouth if I wanted to. That's better for me. This looks like how they keep the crazy people quiet in the asylum. Do with a <laughs> tiny little sticker? Yeah, it's like, eh. Perfect. <laughs> Does it keep your eye shut? Oh, bro, that works. <laughs> <laughs> when you're like a kid and you just like got like heck of uh, just sleep. What happened? I can't see. And then you open up your eye and it's like. <laughs> you know what I mean? The crust flicking off. Yeah. Did I miss sleeping like that? What happened? Sleeping that deep, right? Yeah. Straight up, eight hours all last night. I'm like half awake all the time. When you were a kid though, you're sleeping so long, your eyes were fermenting fungus over them. This is a little claustrophobic. <laughs> Pulls your skin in a way that looks like you'd be in my nightmares. Oh! Oh! Like, oh. <laughs> oh that was such a good shot! Right in the eye. <laughs> That's a nope. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Dope for Now. Send it to all your exes. You reignite the, the flame with this sweet and voluptuous Dope or Nope episode. They can also click out one of those two videos down below. And, uh, you got anything you want to say? Perfectly set. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you beautiful people next time. And remember, subscribe, hit the bell icon. And Nick Cannon wasn't that great in drumline. We'll see you next time.